Hey there YouTubers, it's uh, been a hell of a long time since I did a cooking video and uh, it's cold out here today. It's uh, This morning we were down to 14 uh, without considering the wind chill and it's only your, the middle of November so I'm not impressed by the weather at all but anyways uh, I was over at Festival Foods this morning and they had baby back ribs on sale for uh, three bucks a pound so I bought a couple of packages and I'm gonna do some baby backs on the Weber Smoky Mountain and I've also got a spaghetti squash that I'm gonna put on the Smoky Mountain now baby backs I've done before and you can search my channel and see those but I've never done spaghetti squash on the WSM I've done it inside a number of times we usually just bake it in the oven but um, if you look on YouTube and search for it, there's virtually nothing on spaghetti squash on the grill or on a smoker. There's a lot of recipes for doing it in the oven or doing it in the microwave. So I'm going to try doing it on the WSM today and we shall see what happens with that. That's going to be a nice experiment. My thoughts basically are that uh, I'm going to do the ribs using the 3 2 one method. So since it's kind of low and slow, normally um, the spaghetti squash stay about uh, an hour or so in the regular oven inside at 350 or 375. Since I'm going to be doing this a lot slower outside, I'm going to put it in for almost three hours at low and slow on the smoker and see what happens. This could turn out to be a total disaster or it could turn out to be absolutely fantastic. I'll know in about six or seven hours. We're going to use the minion method. You can see that. And I've got a couple trunks of applewood sitting in there. My chimney is working to get the charcoal started. I'm using uh, Kingsford's briquettes today. Once uh, I get the fire going and get the uh, WSM up to temperature, there's the top, there's the smoker section. The, the yard's still full of leaves. I got some of them. I got most of them out, but a few more fell after the last time the city came around to collect. So those are going to stay the winter probably. Anyways, we're going to get this thing going and um, have some ribs on the smoker, even though it's a cold day in November. And there's the ribs. Just put them on the grill in the rib rack um, and I'm about to uh, hook up the digital thermometer and we'll let them go for two or three hours get a nice smoke I've got uh, the, the temperature came up nicely but of course the minute I opened this all my temperature went to hell in a handbasket so we'll go from there well, it has been about three hours since I Put the ribs on to smoke. They're looking pretty good. The um, 3 to one method says three hours of smoking, two hours of wrapped in aluminum foil, and one hour of re-smoking and firming up the barbecue sauce. So I'm just going to use my handy dandy um, aluminum pan here for instead of wrapping each one of them individually. If I can get these out of here. Now, last weekend I was out visiting with my daughter and her husband and their little baby, her granddaughter, and um, he did ribs out on his grill. Colder than the Dickens out there too. Anyways, he uses a similar method, but he used um, a mixture of honey and butter to wrap when he put in, and I usually use apple juice when I do this. So I thought today what I'd do is a mixture. So what I've got here is about a half a cup of apple juice and about a quarter stick of butter and about um, just under a quarter cup of uh, honey. I'm going to wrap these up in that. I know it's steaming like crazy, isn't it?
and we'll just continue to let them cook. Ooh, that's hot. One of the nice things about the Weber Smoky Mountain is I've got that lower cooking rack in there. So I've just lowered the, the uh, aluminum foil container with the meat down into the bottom area. And now what I'm going to do is put on my two spaghetti squashes. They're nice and cold. I had to chop the end off of this one. It was, um, it was a little bit of a bad spot on the end, so I chopped it off. I've um, obviously cleaned them out with all the seeds and I've spread a little bit of uh, olive oil onto them. And now I've got some Paul Prudhomme's Veggie Magic. I'm just going to give them a little bit of a, a dusting. Okay, that's it. For on top, I'm going to throw a bit more charcoal and another chunk of wood underneath. So I've moved the um, meat back to the top. I'm going to open it up and um, put it back on the grill. Those are coming along nicely. These are coming along just beautiful. I may have to do this without gloves. Or at least without one. There we go. Talk about fall apart. Look at that. Just um, a fresh little barbecue rub on, and this barbecue rub is basically I took what's left over of that apple juice that I had them soaking in, the apple juice and honey, and I took um, and added a little bit of sweet baby rays to it, and um, to make a glaze out of it. So we'll put that on and get kind of a layer of flavor deal going here. The smoke is getting in my eyes. This is, but this is going to be good. Cover this guy back up. It's getting late at night. Well, it's, it's early, but the sun goes down early, too. So, while there's still at least a little bit of light, let's see if we can get these off the grill. Hopefully you'll be able to see them. I'm just going to take them inside and the, took one of the ribs. Talk about tender. Wow. Very good flavor. I'll have to check out the... Um, Squash in a minute. I just took that inside in a, on another plate. But the ribs are perfect. Okay, I'm back inside. Obviously, it's uh, you can see me. There's light in here. I have scooped out the squash from one of the two pieces, of, one of the two halves of spaghetti squash, and the other one I'm going to do so you can see what I'm up to. Um, I was not totally happy with the... Um, amount of time it took us, uh, the cooking out there, um, they didn't quite finish on the smoker, maybe I didn't have the temperature, maybe I didn't go long enough, they were, this was just short of two hours outside, we ended up giving them about five minutes in the microwave after coming inside, but you can see nice smoky color on them quick taste of spaghetti squash. Needs a little bit of butter and salt on it, but basically pretty good. I can definitely taste the smoke. Uh, overall I'd call it a, a good experiment. I learned something from it. I think I'm going to do it again. Maybe put it on a little bit earlier to get it 
fully cooked. Like I see it only took an extra five minutes or so in the microwave, but oh well, I'd like to have gone without the microwave completely. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, thanks much. I'll catch you next time around on video. Bye-bye.